All right, so we are going to do a test now of live streaming. Let me bring Troy Miller on. Troy, what's going on, man? I'm sending messages to the people that are helping us test. <laughs> <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, I'm going to put us on split screen so we can chit chat a minute before we do this critique. So what we're what we're going to do, if you're <laughs> watching this either now or later, um, we're testing some new features on thisweekinphoto.com that will allow me to stream directly into the website and have an embedded chat there and all that stuff, as well as um, have the stream show up on Facebook and YouTube and ultimately Twitter and probably Twitch as well. But right now, um, this is just a test. What we decided to do was we... Um, we normally record our critique sessions, actually we record them Mondays, but couldn't do it Monday, but we record our critique sessions just like this. So instead of doing them kind of behind closed doors and not recorded or not streamed, we're going to record it and stream it, or be, we'll be doing that going forward in 2020. And this is kind of a preview, a test of all the pipes that make all that stuff happen. So hopefully it'll work. Um, there's some backups that we can do to get it working. Troy Miller, what, what's going on on your side, man? So you you still don't see anything on the page? Right? <clears throat> no, no, I've got my I've got my phone on, I've got my iPad on, I've got another browser running. Um, yeah, it's not coming into the new into the new site. So okay, so what what I'll probably end up doing is embedding the the YouTube uh, stream now feed into the page versus what I'm embedding now is restream.io, um, but it's a beta embed, so who knows, right? <laughs> so, so, I don't know. Well, let's let it stream a little bit. So, uh, is your Christmas shopping done, by the way? Are you done? Yeah. yeah. Well, see, see, the cool thing is that my wife and daughter, um, they're like, like Kira, our daughter, she's like the secret Santa. So she helps us get gifts for each other from each other. So, I, yeah, I'm very spoiled. I mean, I'm very spoiled. Like, like she literally helps me. She'd be like, hey, uh, maybe, well, I think Margie's watching this. So I got to be careful. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't say anything that could be used against you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tell Margie, tell Margie to head over to the, uh, to the, um, the Twip Facebook page or the Twip YouTube page or whatever, and she should be able to see live streaming. Yeah, I'm telling her that right now. Yeah, so yeah, so my my Christmas shopping is <clears throat> pretty much well underway. <laughs> yeah, mine is almost done too. It's just mine is a bunch of stuff in my cart on Amazon. <laughs> <So> oh. <laughs> That's I have perfect. a window of delivery time. Thank you, Amazon Prime, before I'm in trouble. So. You know what I'm not going to be? What I normally am? I'm the uh, I'm the guy that's led, looking for table scraps on Christmas Eve. I'm not going to be that guy this year. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, like shopping, like, oh, well, maybe some socks would be okay. <laughs> oh, look, I got one candle. There's got to be another one around here. Maybe if I Walgreens, cut this one off, I can. <laughs> the dusty Walgreens aisles looking for some treasure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not if I spray guy. paint it, it'll look good. She'll yeah. never know. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> I want it all done, packed, or, or wrapped, and ready to go like four days before Christmas. That's, that's what's got to happen. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. No, no, I don't. I don't go out and do much uh, Christmas shopping as it is. So you know, we're kind of spoiled all year. We kind of get what we want anyway. So it's just more like hanging out with family and doing stuff like that. So. Yeah. Well, I know that thing. I'm not going to mention it, but that thing you asked me to look for yesterday. Uh huh. Uh, is it, are you, have you had any luck getting that? No. Thing? No. Okay. All right. So you may have to pull <laughs> some strings to get that thing. Apparently, uh, there's some. I'm in the Bay Area, so there there's some Apple stores or <laughs> there's some stores around that have stuff in them that may be options. So I'll keep my eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm so bad at keeping secrets. I oh, I so don't either. Bad. I don't. Either. Okay. So I used to have a top secret security clearance in the airports. So it's gone completely. <laughs> no, no. So so completely off topic. Well, kind of. Um. So when when we were up there visiting, I bought Kira 
uh, our daughter a pair of the AirPod Pros, mm -hmm. and they were going to be her Christmas gift. But that see, we were up there. I don't know what, like mid November. She has them already. Like, there's no way I could wait that long mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> to give them to her. <laughs> so I talked Margie into. I'm like, we need to get them to her. Like right now, we need to give them to her. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. You're you're just like me. You're the the guy. That, you know, if you got something that's gonna make somebody else happy, you can't sit on it. Come no, on. no. Some arbitrary let's, date. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, it. yeah. Mm -hmm. Give her that. Yeah, I can't do that. <clears throat> yeah. No. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, I just need to press go on that button. Um, and then, you know, you got to buy all the other crap, too, right? So you got to have the big gift, a couple of big gifts. <laughs> the psychology of Christmas gifting. Right. And then you got to have a bunch of filler gifts that, you know, to fill the gift opening time. So I got a lot of that stuff, too. That's right. That's right. <sighs> oh, well. I well, haven't done anyway. any of that. That I need to do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we are we are gathered here today to record the, the twip photo critique are you uh you ready to do that i think so i'm playing with capture one right now yeah I, we're gonna do a we're gonna i'm putting you on the hot seat we're gonna do a live stream of capture one once all these bugs are worked out <laughs> we're gonna do a, a capture one walkthrough and since you're our you are the uh what do you call it the infrared guru yeah I want, uh, yeah i want i want capture one through with infrared eyes you it's, know kind of a walkthrough of that it's amazing. It is by far the, the best infrared editor on the planet right now. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. It's got some amazing... And I don't think that they knew that when they created it. Like, I'm sure the engineers went, hey, let's just make this tool do this. Well, for infrared, it's amazing. <laughs> really? Really? All right. I've been threatening for, what, two years to take one of my old cameras and, and modify it for infrared? I still haven't done it. You have. Yeah, you have. Yeah. Oh See, God. you got to go into 2020 with an infrared camera. I should. I should. Yeah, yeah, by then, you know what Apple will do. They'll be like, yeah, the new iPhone 13 <laughs> has a seventh camera on it. That is <laughs> the whole back, it just lenses all the way down. <laughs> we would buy that. I would I would totally buy that. Yeah, this is infrared, this is UV, this is ultrasonic, this only this photographs sound, this photographs <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Project this, pro, Project Jordy LaForge. Yeah, goggles, yeah. Right? <laughs> this photograph smells. <laughs> yeah, exact smell of vision. Um, all right, let's do this critique. You ready to go? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I've I've just by the way, I've been refreshing the the page. And nothing, right? Yeah, me too. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah that's a that's a fail. Thank you, Restream.io. <laughs> you failed. Your beta embed has failed. So we'll have to. It's good information. Even failure is good information. Yeah, we need to test it. Yeah, because we want to want to do this live and and make fools of ourselves. Well, and... it's got to be it's got to be bulletproof, and it can't be it can't be this whole Rube Goldberg mousetrap setup every time we try to stream. It's got to be tech, like man, boom. it's not it's not gonna be <laughs> airtight. Yeah, I know, I know. It'll get easier and easier over time. We know that. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do this. Let's yeah, do let's do stream. it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Right. We got. What, one? So folks, folks that are watching the stream, so like I said in the beginning, so this is we we normally just record these, but I'm recording and streaming. Um, so this the final version of this, I don't know, may or may not be edited down to cut this chit chit chat piece off. So who knows? I may just keep it clean because you know why not? And just you know what you know. the the Twip community can have the full feed, and then you know you can just push the edited out to. That's a lot of work though. That means I have to work. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to solve for the path of least resistance to quality content for the audience. So mm -hmm. it's got to be. It's got to be quality and quick. You See, know, Ecamm that's 2020. Needs, Ecamm needs an option to start a second recording stream, so you can be like, okay, this is the full, you know, run, and then okay, we're gonna start here and we're gonna end here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's so Come much on. fun. So much fun to be had. Here we go. Speaking of fun, here we go. Uh, Let's do it. Stand do by it. on the set. We are starting the photo critique in earnest right now. <clears throat> hey, folks, it's time for Twip Pro Photo Critique number 92. Hey, welcome back to Twip Pro Photo Critique. This is episode number 92. This week's topic was vices and habits. 
vices and habits. If you have one of those two things and you submitted a photo, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> Troy Miller, you're the one that came up with this topic, right? Uh, well, y yes. Yeah, I, I picked it from a list of many topics that I had. But yeah, yeah, this is the one I picked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Vices and habits. Yeah, this, there's some there's some interesting entries in vices and habits this week. There is. One, one that I'd like to draw a circle around right now before we get started is from member Craig Stampley. So, Craig, yeah, yeah. I think Craig Craig's submission is a cry for help, <laughs> or an intervention, or something, because you know that's that's uh, he's got a lot of issues going on there. Yeah, we'll have to talk about that because I was I was wondering like he's got way too many pieces of the puzzle together to put uh, that. Yeah, yes. we'll get to that one. We'll get to that one. Yeah, there and there's there's <laughs> way too many pieces of the puzzle, and it looks really realistic for somebody that, without kind of carnal knowledge of how all that stuff works like how do you know put, like <laughs> like nuances there's nuances so you you guys will see in a second when we talk about it. uh so vices <laughs> uh vices and habits is the topic before we dive in um uh any any news or anything you want to share with the audience before we dive into the critique uh i don't think so just enjoy the holidays enjoy family take your time go slow you know soak it all in because next year is going to be here and then the craziness is going to come flooding in again so that's right that's right yeah yeah it's all good 2020 it'll be 2021 before you know it so i know i know make make use of 2020 all right so let's do this so i'm going to go ahead and share my screen here and uh we'll talk about the photo submissions. All right, here we Gold are. Gold it. We are in Twit Pro right now. The first submission looks like it's from Amy Brooks. All right, Amy says, "Hi, my name is Amy. It's been three hours since my last latte." <laughs> <laughs> see how simple that is i uh, love simplicity i, simple, I know you know what i know what you're gonna say when you look at this photo though. Uh, um, <laughs> i can feel it in my bones already what you're gonna say about this photo but yeah. you, you go ahead and take it away first what do you think um well you know i love the simplicity of it i like the you know just the solitary cup sitting there just you know begging to be picked up and sipped um I could do without all the little white specks <clears throat> all over the background. Mm -hmm. That's 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 kind of what's killing me is uh, is the little white specks that are. Well, everywhere. maybe she put those in there to kind of ground it, right? Otherwise, it's just like a sea of black. You know, those are, you know they kind of look like stars. You know, it's full of stars. It's full of stars. <laughs> no, it, no, no. <clears throat> No, my brain cannot see that. No, no stars. Uh, no. Yeah, that's that's just it. I mean, and, and some of the some of the burning that's around the cup, I wish was a little bit tighter to the cup or, you know, less um, less obvious to me. Yeah. But overall, the simplicity of the shot. I really dig that. In Capture One, you could have she could have selected the color range of that cup and the coffee and all that <laughs> stuff to isolate it and then drop the background as low as she or completely out if she wanted to. Right. Yep, yep. And you could have removed all those little specks and capture one very quick. Those specks are bothering you, aren't they? <laughs> they are. You know, because I come from the darkroom days, right? And in the darkroom, if we had stuff like that, like dust spots, you had to go in with a brush and touch every single one of them multiple mm -hmm. times, right? Like it was yeah. terrible. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I was there. Have you ever retouched on a negative? No, I never did the negative. Yeah, we used to when I was stationed at uh, at Yokota Air Base in Japan, we were shooting portraits in on four by five film, black and white. And, um, you know, every now and then a stray hair or dust flake or whatever would get on the negative. Oh, and, you know, you could try to get it out in the dark room. Actually, the only way to get it out in the dark room. And if anyone knows any way different, please tell me. But in the dark room, you'd have to print it and then retouch the print. But to make things easier on yourself, you take the negative and retouch the negative. That way, none of that's, those specs would make it to the print. Right. So, but you'd still end up with some, you know, some some nasty. It would never be perfect like you can do in digital. So, yeah. Now I get it. Still a lot of work. Now yeah. it's just a click away, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, this is this is a, a definitely a favorite of mine. I, I like this. I like how simple it is. Thank you, Amy Brooks. Let's move on to the next shot. Here's here's our cry for help. Right here, Craig Stampley. Craig says, rum and coke and a Cuban cigar, two out of three ain't bad. All right, let's bring his image up here. 
<laughs> oh my god Craig go on please tell me you didn't do all this stuff at the same time <laughs> oh jeez uh-huh. All right, and that, that Cuban cigar, I'm guessing, there's probably not tobacco in there. It's probably uh, some other leafy plant. <laughs> <laughs> well, what gets, what gets me, right, is, like, he had the mirror. He knew how to how to set it up. He, You know, it's like... The credit he, card. He had the credit card. Well, that's a driver's license. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, driver. Oh, that is a driver's license. Yeah. 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 And the knife and the baggie with the, with the pocket knife <laughs> extracting... <laughs> Craig. That is Craig, that is boy. yeah, it's a little terrifying. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's really good. I why why did he leave the what's the bottle cap though? I don't maybe I don't, I don't understand that. Oh, that's the cigar tube. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, got it. Do you got know it. anything? No, I don't smoke cigars. Bro. I don't either. I just saw the tube with the threads on it. <laughs> I've smoked exactly one cigar in my entire life and uh I inhaled and that was my last time. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, that was no. that was not a good scene. Ruined the day. Actually, no. two days it ruined. No, I can't even be within twenty feet or fifty feet or a hundred feet. If I smell it, it's bad. I day. don't mind smelling them. Like <clears throat> like they smell good. Like you walk by a cigar shop or one of those shops, they smell. It actually smells really good to me. But every time, you know, those synapses are burned in of me like getting green gills and hugging oh. the toilet. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was not good. Yeah, yeah. So, I love right, this the, this photo. Tell me about it. What do, what do you think? Well, you know, I, I feel like I feel like it's a little flat in in its its perception of depth, right? So like everything has the same focus, the same amount of light, and I wish that this had been a tighter, more macro esque kind of shot with a little bit more mystery, uh, a little bit more darker lighting. You know, maybe the maybe the drink was just forward. There was an ashtray with a cigar burning, and then maybe as a hint in the background, you could see the mirror and then the box way in the back. You know, just one of those sort of dark. Just walked into, you know, a nightclub or whatever, and it was sitting on the table like that, right? Mm-hmm. Like this feels very staged, but even as like a commercial shot, everything has the same emphasis. Yeah. So I kind of I kind of wish, you know, that it that it had had a little bit more depth and and lighting context to it. Yeah. To make it more dangerous, I think it needs a gun in it. No. There's got to be a gun, you know, some sort of you know a, a, a real. Well, I guess it's you know. 50 percent illegal but he's a the illegal element to me that scary. right right uh, right all right all right craig stanfley thanks for that we yeah i sitting... like that that certainly encompasses vices for sure for sure yeah i wonder if these are personal vices though yep i can only relate to two of those that are in there <laughs> so the cocaine and what? <laughs> the rum and coke oh the driver's the license because you can drive <laughs> Oh, I, I have a huge collection of knives. I love knives. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Cool. All right. Next shot up is from Armando Brook. Armando says, this was in Zombie was, was in Zombie Walk, Sao Paulo. I'm not sure what was his message, but for me, it was clear. Do not smoke. Yeah. This is one of the scariest photos I think I've ever seen. This is <laughs> right. it's just frightening. Yeah. Yeah, that is a... Yeah, that's a little deep right there. Jeez. Wow. Armando never disappoints. I Sao Paulo, man, there's some crazy stuff going on over there. We need to I get over it. there and hang out. I know it. Every shot he submits is like really, really interesting. It is really well, interesting. Yeah, everything from, you know, from bathrooms to zombies with cigarettes. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. This could be a cigarette commercial. <laughs> no, yeah. this could be this could be a vape commercial. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this could be you. Try the new vape, so and so. Right. Right. Yeah. But from a, this is more of a photojournalistic street photography type shot, right? So, what, it what, is. Do, what do you think? It is. Yeah. Um. I think that the back is a little bit. You know, the, the the left side of the image. You know, we could crop that in a little bit. Um. And just leave the space on the right. I think that that's that that would help. It doesn't need to be in the center. Um. And that would what that would do is move the eye to the left or you crop off the right side and leave just the left. So one is walking into the frame and one is walking out of the frame. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that that would really help. Other than that, you know, there's, there's really not a whole lot. It's, it's tack sharp, both eyes. Um, it certainly conveys the message. The colors are fantastic. 
you know, Armando does push the colors a little bit, which I, I love to see what he does with his images. So, yeah, he likes that. He likes that saturation. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's very much his style. And uh, I appreciate that. I like it. So what do you what do you think about the eyes there? Because I, I was looking at the eyes. I couldn't I can't tell if those are contact lenses or are those actual like <laughs> human real eyes or did he or did he color them? You know, I can't or did he color them. Yeah. I can't really tell. I they don't seem like that would be a natural color, right? Like yeah, that I've is never intense. seen anybody with eyes like that. I, I don't think that is an intense color. Um, I'm gonna go with contacts. Okay, Armando, in the comments, you got to let us know were those contacts? Did the person actually look like that, or did you uh, did you do some post processing magic to bring those eyes out? Yeah, I'm. I'm. If it's post-processed, it's exquisitely done because there's hairs that are crossing in front of it and they're not even showing the color. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, however it's done, it's done really well. Or, you know, if those are contacts or, man, if that's like natural eyes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Hey, zombies. You just walk up the, it happens, walk up it the... happens when zombies rise, you know, the eyes <laughs> get a little more saturated. <laughs> eyes. Yeah. Cool. All right, Armando. Thank you, sir. I'm looking for uh, like silver flecks floating around in their eyes. Oh, right, right. All right, next shot up is from Joshua Sommerfeld. Joshua says, so, oh, Joshua went off on this comment here. He said, uh, so I had a brilliant idea to photograph a nun wearing her habit because it's obviously what you guys meant with the habit theme. Unfortunately, <laughs> I couldn't find one nun that would let me take her picture, and I discovered trying to photograph them, though the, <laughs> the cloister dorm <laughs> window is, or through the cloister dorm window is a crime. Yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't try that. I had to get serious about this topic, so I went and bought this Funko Pop from the Nun movie and photographed it with a CGI crypt background as well as an actual photo of a cemetery. I took too long. I took too long ago to remember the camera settings, but she's wearing a habit, so it counts. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that looks like a bobblehead nun. <laughs> it does a little bit. It does a little bit. I didn't even notice until just now that her hands are up. She's got her little claw hands up. Yeah, yeah, she's got her little hands up like Baby Yoda do it, using the Force or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up on that now. Now I are you it. up on you're up I'm on up Baby on Yoda. <laughs> yep, yep. And for and for the for the recorded record, I have my own subscription. I did not use my buddies. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good, because piracy is a crime, Troy Miller. Just uh, well, hey, hey, you're allowed to have four streams on the Disney Channel. I looked it up, so I was oh. well within the, the the contract. But I think it says four streams within the same household, though. I, I didn't. I'm splitting hairs. I, I don't think they're going to put you in court about that. So, yeah, I think you're good. <laughs> I think you're good. But I'm not going to do I, hard time like Craig Stanfleet would be doing. But you're. This you're is true. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Yeah. All right, what about this nun? What do you think? And for the record, I I expected more nuns and habits in this in the submissions <laughs> this week than we got. So Joshua was the, Joshua, you were the only one that took the bait and 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 submitted a nun with with her habit on. So apparently, I am not up on nun terminology because I had no idea that that's what a habit was. So I had to look it up. Not that I didn't trust Joshua. I know he knows what he's talking about, but I had to look it up. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So now I learned something. See? Yeah. Yeah. You never what? You never saw the Whoopi Goldberg movie? You know, Back in the Habit? Or I was like four. I don't know. I don't remember that. You were not four because I was not four. Don't even try. We're the same age, bro. <laughs> I think I think when I first saw that movie, I was like fifty-five or something. So. <laughs> no, I did not. No. So. No. Um. But you know, now that I've learned that. I'll, I'll never look at nuns the same. Uh -huh. um, but I love I love this the creativity of this image. I really do. I think it's I think it's super cool. The background is is done really well. It fits together. You know, when you're compositing two things together, it's often really hard to get perspective correct and lighting. So it's really good. The lighting's really good. It's coming in from the right. It's coming through the window. It's it's landing in the mausoleum. Um, I, I get this little weeping angel vibe. So maybe this is where they started. Uh -huh. um, yeah, he's got he's kind of got some some Rembrandt lighting going on there too. A bit. He does, yeah, definitely some Rembrandt or some hatchet lighting happening coming in mm -hmm. from the edge. So, I, I I don't have a lot that I could say to how to make this better or you know what bugs me, other than maybe the lint on her left eye. 
right there in the oh, pupil. Oh, I see it now. Oh, see, now that you say it, I see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can't this help is, it. This is how uh, I would imagine kids in Catholic school see the nuns. <laughs> <laughs> This is what I would imagine. Oh my gosh! <laughs> All so right, many t-shirts. So many t-shirts right there. All right, Joshua Summerfeld from Cyberdyne Systems Model One Hundred Two. All right, next one is from John Schmidt. Welcome, John Schmidt. John Schmidt. John Schmidt's a new member of yeah. Twitter Pro. Welcome to the fray. And I am seriously, seriously resisting any Jacob Jingleheimer. <laughs> comments <laughs> tell me you remember that song you remember that song right it, it, barely but it's 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 come on john back. jacob jingleheimer schmidt his name is my name too come on sing it where did you grow up on the moon come on <laughs> <laughs> ah we got to import more american stuff to uh to the moon now uh but john schmidt Let's see what he says. He says, harsh lights, impending rain, high wind, so I couldn't use my lights. Uh, what could I have done differently to do this better? I couldn't find an indoor location, and the rain was 81% chance of falling at sunset. Also, I'm new on this, and the app cut off the top of the image. Interesting. What's the best size to crop for posting images? Yeah, it shouldn't have cropped. That's interesting. Um, the other thing, he's a new member, so he, he submitted this, and he didn't know that we had a theme for this, so we'll... We're going to critique this one anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I responded on how to, what sizes I thought worked in there. So that gave him a little bit of an idea. Good, which is all going to be moot soon as we transition yes. to the new Can, TWIP. Yes. Cannot wait for that. Yeah, me either. Me either. So what do you think? What do you think of the shot? Give him some I, feedback. I think it's I think it's a great shot. Uh, John, you did a good job keeping all that detail in that background. Um, being backlit. Uh, backlit is a really wonderful type of light to use. And you did a really good job handling it here and not letting the concrete blow out, but yet there's still detail in her face. Um, you mentioned that you didn't set up your lights because of high winds. Now, I'm assuming that you would have set up an umbrella or a softbox or something, and that's why you didn't want to have the wind. But there's nothing wrong with using bare bulb or using a straight off camera um, speed light. You know, you don't always have to modify the light to make the light beautiful. As a matter as a matter of fact, I never use modifiers at all. I only use, you know, speed lights. And you could have added a little bit of light off camera to her right to give a little bit of, of contrast into her face. And it would have been fantastic. Mm -hmm. So you don't always have to use modifiers. And if you're stuck using modifiers all the time, <clears throat> I'm going to suggest and challenge you to not use modifiers for a time. Like, try that. See how that works. Because you yeah. really don't need it. What about the horizon line in the background? Does that Do you think that impacts the photo at all? It looks like it's tilted a little bit to the right, the horizon, but then the subject looks perfect. Yeah, you know, in shots like this where it's not a landscape or a commercial type image where – it matters. Um, I'm okay. I'm okay giving it that sort of that. What do they call it? Like the Dutch tilt or something. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it fits. I think it fits the environment. Sometimes I intentionally tilt my images anyway, just for a little creativity. Um, add a little. The, add a little kinetic energy to it. Yeah, yeah. The the only other thing that I would suggest in this image is that you have her right foot very close to the corner of the frame, and yet there's a lot of room on the right side of her body. Mm -hmm. Just think about that balance a little bit. Yeah. You know, open up the left, the right side of the frame, you know, camera right, open that up a little bit. And that way she has a little bit more space to exist in. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's it's a fantastic portrait. It's it's great. Yeah. Cool. Good stuff. Yep. All right. Moving I like right portraits. Along. Yeah. And we're almost we're almost at the end. This one quick. Oh, wait a minute. Did I sort this right? <laughs> oh, I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. Did we got I? some more. No, I didn't sort it. Wait, latest activity, date created. Oh, I'm going to screw us up now. There you go. We've only done like 95 of these. <clears throat> I know. Okay, no, we're still good. So we did this one, this one, this one, this I'm one. I'm watching you. I got mine sorted correctly, so I know it's where we're at. Okay. Yeah, because I always use I always use the uh, last weeks as the bookmark to let me know when we're done. So oh, yeah, that's a bad thing to do, though. Why? <laughs> It's chronological, Cause, dude. Because when Kira and I recorded, 
apparently the video came in after some submissions, so I stopped at the at the uh, video, not realizing there were five submissions after it. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 that was bad. <laughs> yeah, but live and learn. You got to make mistakes in order to get better. This is true. Uh, Michael Duray's next, and Michael Duray says. I thought about the Vice topic a lot and figured everyone would go for the smoking, drinking, and gambling slant. <laughs> <laughs> Craig Stampley, so predictable. He didn't have gambling in his though. Uh, so I turned, I turned to myself and realized that my biggest vice is my relentless attempts to steal people's souls. Yeah. All right. All right. Here you go. What, what's the story of soul stealing for those who don't know Troy Miller? Well, you know, when you take a photograph of somebody, you've captured their soul. That's right. Yeah. I mean, it was a Native American um, or indigenous people's sort of uh, mm -hmm. lore that mm -hmm. said that when you take a photograph of someone, that yep. you uh, you capture their soul. And they're stuck in your camera forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which means the entire planet is soulless now. Maybe that's what's wrong with the planet because <laughs> everyone <laughs> has been videoed or photographed in some way. So everyone's soul is gone now. So. No, no. Google has them all. Google, yeah, Google yeah. has all the souls on Google the server. Google has all somewhere. the souls. Yeah, the soul server. So <laughs> <laughs> you got to pay a subscription to get it back. Oh, God. <laughs> That's right. So Google. Yeah, but if you pay for a year in advance, it's a little bit cheaper. You get a little discount, like twelve yeah. percent. There you go. There you go. Oh my. All God. right. What do, what do you think of the shot? Is this, does this fit in the theme <laughs> of the critique, vices and habits, and uh, does the photo stand on its own merits? Uh, you know, it, it certainly it certainly speaks to uh, Michael's vices and habits, and I and I think that if that's <clears throat> something you're chasing, from a viewer's perspective, it doesn't communicate a vice or a habit as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you got to be able to pick the picture up and then instantly sort of grok or understand what what the uh, the photographer was intending. In in some cases, right? In some cases, without the caption. So right. without without the caption. Can you do you know what the photographer was intending you to to understand or feel by looking at the image um, or, w you know, nothing's to say that the photo can't always cap you know, travel with a caption to tell you what's going on, because not every photo is going to stand on its own and tell its own story. Right, right. Um, but I, you know, I'm looking at this image and, and there's two elements to this image that I really love, and that's the machinery that's on the left. Um, it's slightly out of focus, and I'm not really sure what it is. I'm assuming it's probably like some old school combustion engine or, you know, some manufacturing piece. And the gentleman on the right in the chair, I'm really intrigued by his story, like what's going on um, in his life, in this moment, in this thing. And so because those are the two strongest elements for me, I I really want to see the the vertical post and the strings in the background go away. I'm OK yeah. with the chair on the left. Mm -hmm. Um because that tells its own story. <clears throat> but just getting rid of that distracting element in the back would, would help a lot. But I love it. I love the treatment, the little black line around it. That's so nice. I know. You and that black line. You and that black line. I agree. And there's it looks like there's some some distortion around that black post. Do you see that around the edges of it? Yeah, I looked at that. I wondered if maybe... Uh, Is Mighty, some... Mighty doing that? I don't think it's Mighty. I'm going to... I don't know. It looks like maybe something had been cleaned up or removed or some burning or sharpening going on back yeah, there. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's hard to tell. It's it's really hard to tell. Whatever it is, it's not it's not terrible, but there's certainly a little haze around that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it is. It is unclear what's going on there. Yeah, and the and the chair as well just a little bit around the subject, just a, like on the right side, the subject's left side of the chair down the post there. Mm -hmm. There's the same kind of and around the legs on the bottom between the the subject's legs. See the the kind of mechanics of the chair there. There's the same kind of blurriness that's around that that pipe. Yeah, I'm wondering if if Michael if 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 he didn't do some um like heavy you know dodging and burning or sharpening or you know some clarity or something like that to give that grass a nice crunchy look mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just didn't get all the way in there. But I mean. Either way, I mean the 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 image is 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 pretty powerful. Yeah, I mean no I, one's I really scrutinize it. it as close as we're scrutinizing it. So, yeah, yeah, maybe maybe there's we're, you know we're breeding nitpickers out there now. That's what That's we're right. doing. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Twenty twenty is a nitpicker generation. <laughs> <laughs> we're empowering nitpickers everywhere. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> the world needs more nitpickers. <laughs> and cowbell. Yeah. 
There you go. <laughs> All right, Michael DeRay, thank you for that submission. Next shot up is from Lamb. And Lamb, I never say your last name, WP, because I don't know how to pronounce <laughs> consonants. That's right. We need vowels. <laughs> <laughs> I need a vowel in there. My mouth doesn't pronounce consonants only. Um, Lamb says, habits are acquired. Theme, vices or habits. Title, habits are acquired. Habits are acquired. Uh, not inherent from birth. Or I guess maybe not inherited. Inherited. Um, watching programs and smartphones while eating have become a habit of most diners. Even the little girl is doing this. Without her parents' support, she would not have acquired the habit. This is a bad habit for very young children like her, as a small screen is straining their eyes during the eye development stage. By the time they go to elementary schools, very likely they have to wear glasses in order to see clearly, especially far objects. Oh, mm -hmm. We know that. Oh. Oh man, yeah. This is this is a huge this is a huge situation that we probably won't see the results of for like another decade. I'm I'm, I'm sure professionals are seeing it now, but I mean, as far as like common knowledge, um, it's is this, so. I mean, are we? Is this a proven fact or are we guessing? No, it's a it's a proven fact. Like it, you you take you take kids that have grown up using digital devices to play games, and then when they go into the real world, you ask them to st stack blocks. Their ability to understand depth perception and weight. And form are very different because on a on a screen you don't have that right. Yeah. So if you're only taught how to how to stack blocks or build something or color um, virtually, then when you go into the real world, it's just there's a whole bunch of elements that we don't have, and there's oh, a oh yeah the tactile disconnect yeah yeah that yeah. that the physical mechanics and and the eye to, to hand to eye coordination. So you're um, saying you're saying a Lincoln log app <clears throat> is not the same as actual Lincoln logs. No, no, because you have to step on them with bare feet in the dark to appreciate <laughs> yeah, what they are. The, the pain of the Lego shooting up into right. your foot, yes. Right, yeah. and and destroying something virtually is not nearly as fun as destroying it in the real world. So yeah, you build true. yourself a Lincoln log cabin and then you take it apart with a bat. That is amazing. Yeah, yeah, but it goes <laughs> both ways, right? Because you can do stuff in the virtual world that you can't do in the real world that you never would want to do in the real world. Right. Hence, violent video. Right, games. right, so, right. Absolutely. I don't know that I want my kid to, you know, my kid doesn't doesn't uh, play violent video games. But if she were to, I wouldn't want her to. I would rather have that sensation rather than the actual recoil of a gun you know kind of thing sure you don't need that in your your visual memory <clears throat> so it's kind of a 50 50 i don't know maybe it's not 50 yep. 50 but yeah there's everything has is a double bladed double edged yeah. sword. So. well it's it's certainly interesting and i think that this is this is such a a, a powerful image in that <clears throat> because this tells me that this isn't only an issue in the u.s which is where we're at right which is the only place that i see <clears throat> but here this is you know halfway around the world in another country in another culture and it's an issue mm -hmm. yeah well i mean humans are humans everywhere right so sure you know cultural differences aside we're we're all made of stardust so whatever. yeah um yep. speaking of stardust what do you think of the shot I, I i dig the shot it it doesn't need a whole lot um i mean it's it's a it's a it's a photojournalistic piece so i think that it tells the story perfectly well i mean i might I might play with cropping in the left side a little bit tighter. And, you know, if I was going to do something with this, I may fix that little white speck on the lady's arm on the right um, mm, and yeah. burn down the background a little bit just to give a little bit more emphasis to the child. But ultimately, this is telling a story that that we all get right away. Yeah, no, for sure. Absolutely. You know? It's it's yeah, it, it it stings, doesn't it? Yeah. If you've been letting your kid do this, for sure. Yeah. And this is at Ikea. <laughs> So, oh, that's the other thing. You know, there was this IKEA documentary on Netflix that I saw. You should watch it. I, um, it revealed a lot of things about IKEA that I did not know, including, uh, yeah, maybe I won't say it. <laughs> but, let's say, uh, you know, some some very bad people in World War II uh, had something to do with IKEA. Let's just say that. So, uh. <laughs> yeah, go check it out. Go watch it. Go watch it. Um, and the other thing in here is that phone. It has a it has a USB C port on it, so I'm je I'm jealous of that. <laughs> that's, that's not a lightning port. That is USB C, hundred percent. Oh, how right. funny! Yeah, I don't know. I debate the USB C port. I don't know. 
All you right, don't I'll want a USB C port on your phone? Come on, that's my phone is the last remaining device. Yeah, I, I do, I do, port. but I think that's a, a, a. You think it's a lightning port? I think it's a lightning port. Oh, okay, well, but that's lamb, debatable. But anyway, lamb, good image, uh, Lamb. I love that. I love the story, and I like I like the little um, description that you gave it. I think that's very well done. Very good. All right, last but not least in this series for this show is Peter Levshin. Shot this with his Canon 5D Mark III with a 7200 millimeter lens. He says, two of my favorite things, beer in fast cars. Uh, actually, I think Peter would say beer in fast cars. <laughs> <laughs> he said down under, right? Beer. There's no R in there. It's just beer. <laughs> beer in fast cars. What do you think of this one? We haven't had a car shot in a while on the show. No, no, we have not. I, I'm just, I'm kind of cropping it a little bit. I, I, I don't need the car on the right. I really just want to see the car on the left. Um, it's such a cool shot. I mean, the tires are moving and, and all that smoke. So this has got to be an older shot. Does it? I don't know if he says in the description how long ago this was, but I feel like we have too much car on the right. I just, I, I really just want to kind of crop that car out of there. You want a little bit of the car, but or or yeah. not at all. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of the car. Maybe cropping a little bit from the top too. Just really focus in on that left car. And I and I like the fact that the left car is sharp, sort of, you know, headlights to taillights kind of thing. Like the back end is just barely soft, so he's got a lot of depth of field in there. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I like the fact that they, I mean these are clearly cars that are drifting. And you know, as you could see on the side of the car, it says Drift Alliance. The one that you want to crop out, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, and the the physics the physics of what the car is doing, the back tires clearly the cars are are in forward motion. Back tires are spinning. Yep. Front tires are turned into the turn both on both cars. So obviously they're sliding. That's just that's you know there's a lot of motion and energy in this shot. The smoke behind the car, where yep. the driver's looking. Driver's looking exactly where the car the tires are pointed. <laughs> so. Yep, yep. That's what you got to do. You got to look where you're gonna be. <laughs> Yeah, that was really cool. I like that. Have you yeah. have you ever drifted? You know how to drift? Um, in the dirt. I mean, I did a lot of off road racing, so you drift all the time. Uh, yeah. you know, it's just it's the only way you can get around a corner on a dirt road doing eighty miles an hour in a four wheel drive truck is you're gonna slide. Yeah, uh, I used to drift all the time unintentionally in <laughs> icy conditions in Chicago. <laughs> uh, we didn't call it drifting though. We called it power sliding. Yeah, we we called it the prelude to an accident. That's what we called it. <laughs> That's what we called it. Yeah. No, yeah. cool stuff. Very cool. Yeah, it's a great shot. I you know, I don't have a whole lot to add to make it better. You know, I What do you I think, think about the color treatment though? Because he's got this this sort of um faded I found this in a photo album you know, color an, treatment to it, kind of amazing, muted. It's an amazing color treatment. Yeah, you did it, didn't you? Did you do this? Did you process this photo for Peter Levson? No, I did not process the photo. That's the only him. time you say anything positive about Peter Levson is if nope. you had something to do with the image. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure it's my preset, but... Oh, okay, see? Your DNA is in here somewhere. I knew it. <laughs> or I influenced... Or I influenced it in some way. I don't know. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. yeah, Peter shaking his fist at me right now. He's going to call me as soon as he sees this. All right, oh, Peter, sound off. Did, did Troy help you with this image, or did you do it <laughs> on your own lonesome? <laughs> I want to know. Is Troy taking take credit for your image here. This looks like my, this looks like my yellow snow Lightroom preset. <laughs> yellow, yellow snow. I named, I na well, yeah, if you're going to name stuff, you got to name them something creative. <laughs> You know, in, in no one in California knows what yellow snow means, right? So, northern California, they do. Northern, up northern, northern California, they do. Yeah, yeah. That is, yeah, that's a different kind of snow. Don't eat the yellow snow, basically. That's the rule of life. <laughs> well, you got to watch Elf. You got to watch the movie Elf. Elf. Yellow snow or any other any other color of snow than white. You don't want to eat it. Eat yeah, just snow. or don't eat the snow. Just don't, just eat, don't snow. eat snow, period. It's on a good Yeah, no, it fell from the atmosphere. Fell through smog and <laughs> yeah, it's got all kinds of stuff in there. All right, well, cool, Peter Levshin. Thank you, sir. You know, a lot of good ones in here. <clears throat> I have a couple of favorites, Troy Miller. What do you What do you think? Do you have any favorites? You know, I'm I'm between I'm between Armando's. I'm looking at them now. I'm I'm really between Armando's and Amy's, mm -hmm. and um, I I think that uh, I think that I I like the fact that Amy's is is very simple. And it her title made me laugh. <laughs> yeah, let me bring that so. back up. Yeah. Yeah, here she is. 
Oh, wait, where did it go? Here there. It go. Okay, here it is. Um, oh, no, I'm sharing the wrong window. Let me make sure I'm on the right window here. We'll get it right by the hundredth time. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning. All right. So it's this one. And the things that bug you are the stars and the, the yeah, star field. Yeah, the stars. And yeah, the, the stars. The burning around the cup itself. And then Armando was this one. Yeah. There we go. So, yeah, this one. Yeah, two two very different one. Like Amy's is very commercial. It would be, you know, yeah. be considered more of a commercial shot. Or you see it in a magazine with some some type next to it or something, right? Yeah, yeah. And then Armando's yeah. is photojournalistic. Or Armando's is scary. This is this is scary. It's man. shocking. That's what it is. It, it's very. It's very. <laughs> you know, there's <laughs> images that that I want to print and look at for a long time, and this is not. This is not one of those images. Yeah, yeah. Right. Very, I mean, to be it's fair, very I in love your face. Right. In your. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I love the image, and I think this would be a good ad campaign. You know, to to not smoke, but. Um, yeah, it's 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 scaring me just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Between the two, I think I'd have to go with this one though. I I feel like this one. Which one do you feel more passionate about? I I, I really like Amy's. I think I think Amy's. <sighs> I knew you were gonna do that. I I like Amy's too because I like simplicity, and I went with that. I went with Armando's because <laughs> of your you know your OCD with these specs. <laughs> yeah. So uh, maybe both of them. Let's pick both of them because okay. I I think for different reasons they they hit the nail on the head. You know so, what? That's that's good because they they have extreme content that's that at different at different perspectives, right? At different yeah. ends of the spectrum, and and they're both chemical vices, which is kind of good. Yep. Yep. There you go. All right. Well, congratulations to our two favorites <laughs> for this critique number ninety two: vices and habits. Amy Brooks and Armando Brooks. Yay. Yeah. Congratulations, guys. Um, so next week, what's our topic for next week, Troy Miller? Time. I think you picked time. Yes. Yes. The Notice topic... what I did there. You picked time. You. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're gonna blame it on me? Yeah. <laughs> time well, is time is timeless, I'm saying. You know, uh, and there's so a lot of ways to interpret time. Example? What's an hmm? example of time? Like, like, what would we like a like a watch? Would we photograph a watch or a I time? I mean, if you're, I mean, you could take a picture of a watch if you were uncreative and unoriginal. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you wanted to, you know, phone it in, you know, a time piece. But the passage of time, you could do a long exposure. People have been submitting shots, you know, of cars streaking down the road with the taillights, you know, with the that's time any basically anything photographic is time because photographers are time travelers right because we capture and manipulate time whether we're freezing it stretching it out with a long exposure doing multiple exposures taking different right. points of time and putting it in one frame or you know oh, whatever. yeah yeah it's it's the massaging of time is what yeah. we do that's what you know this 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 there's a control on a camera called a shutter and <laughs> depending on how long you leave that shutter open depends on you know it, it dictates how much time is recorded when, when the was the last time you pressed the shutter button uh the last time i pressed the shutter <laughs> button was um oh. you mean not not including hawaii right not including Dude. hawaii uh you didn't press the shutter button in hawaii you didn't take a real camera you took your phone Oh, a real camera. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, Troy Miller just called the iPhone 11 a fake camera and the Mavic Mini. Those are fake cameras, according, according to Troy. Sorry, Troy. You're, you're, uh, the rings of your tree are showing, my friend. Oh. <laughs> Those are very much real cameras, I would like to say. And yes, uh, I would argue that I took more photos on that vacation that I would have, and I had more fun without having to worry about taking a camera bag and worrying about somebody stealing it than, you know, had I bought a proper bag. Be so. fair, yeah, 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 I agree, yeah. I agree. Yeah. I have I have my second favorite camera right here. That's right, That's that's mine is right over there charging, yeah. Yeah, technically, I have, well, I have one camera, three lenses. <laughs> that Hoping is a, for more lenses. <laughs> I would say that that phone is my favorite camera. Uh, because I shoot with it more than any of the other cameras for the jobs that it does. Because that camera records more of the daily 
day-to-day happenings in my right. life than you know any of the of uh, the real troy miller cameras that i have <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's that age show it's like right, come on punk kid those those, those gas powered vehicles <laughs> just a fad <laughs> All right, so next week is time. Time. T-I-M-E, however you choose to interpret it, whether literal like Troy Miller and take a picture of a watch or uh, creatively, you know, and showing the passage of time some way or some other way that we haven't thought about. Submit your images and we will talk about them in the next episode of the Twit Pro Photo Critique, which will be episode number 93 next week. We're getting close to Christmas, so... I think the the episode before Christmas, what are we right now? We're on the 10th as we record this. So, yeah. So, we'll be recording our last episode before Christmas on Christmas Eve Eve. So, I'm thinking that one will obviously have to be something to do with holidays. You know, not everyone celebrates Christmas, obviously. So, we have to do some sort of festive winter holiday type thing that everyone can participate Winter. In. Winter would be a good topic. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's not foreshadow it. Yep. Not yet. Stay on track. Time. You're shooting time <laughs> for the next week one. We'll let you know when winter is the topic. All right, man. Well, cool. Any uh, any parting shots before we take off? No, that's it. Have fun. Yeah. Have fun. Go shoot time. Enjoy the holidays. Go slow. And use, and use a real camera, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, use All this, right. don't use this $2,000 fake camera <laughs> <laughs> with a supercomputer in it. Use something that is less capable than uh than uh than your phone i gotta go i gotta go <laughs> all right buddy you take care and uh all right I'll sir see you, i'll see you next time all right take care guys all right